Well, early on in the game, it was laggy here in club battle. Coming into the game, I have an 18 and 6 record, 12 games over 500 so far this week. I've been playing good baseball. So I had to leave the game there and come back because I had to carry some dirt. Check this out. There's a tie. He has a 2 0 lead because I left the game. And then we tie the game with a two run shot. But, like, <laughs> for one, my parents. Bad timing to come ask me to carry some dirt. I tried to reason with them as to why I couldn't, but they wouldn't let me stay and finish the game. So, you know, it's all good because we tie the game there. It's all good. So then he decides he looks to make a substitution, but he changes his mind. And uh, these days, the only people having their bullpen is honestly the only people I've seen these type of good players bring in is their fucking created sidewind throwing player. You know, the sidearm created player that everyone makes because it's some bullshit. He throws a curveball down in the zone. We rock it, but he catches it. So, Tommy Edmond comes up. Boom! Tommy Edmond. And it's gone. Now, I didn't record the 3, 4, and 5 run, but a 3-run home run there. And then another one there by Tommy Edmond makes it 8-2. to Um... Yeah, when there was a good connection, again, seeing the ball very well here online. Um, next pitch, we swing this at a low off-speed pitch. Um, I think that was a curveball, but I wasn't looking when it happened, but I still remember what happened. Um, I'm pretty sure it happens again here. Oh, no. We crush it in the right field. Pops off the wall. Bounces and kind of goes dead fish into the ground. And it's another double, and he... Did he give an emoji there? I don't know. I think at first he was giving emojis early in the game, but then I kind of blew him out, and I think he wasn't joking around much anymore. So, uh, yeah, then Ian Happ goes yard. Sorry that I don't have the rest of the film of the game. We end up winning this game 17-2. to See ya.